my channel. Today I'm going to talk about another type of health gadget, a humidifier. And I'm going to talk about one that I like, that I especially like, which is this Air Care Mini Council. So first I'm going to talk to you about a few reasons why you might want to look for a humidifier. And then I'm going to go over why I like this one so much. Okay guys, let's first look at the three reasons why I would look at a humidifier. And the first is the ideal humidity level for humans in the home is between 40 and 50%. And there is going to be a lot of times during the year when you drop below that 40%. In the Pacific Northwest, we use a lot of fireplaces and forced air heating in the winter. In the winter, our humidity levels can get into the low 30%. And if, you're, if you live in the desert in the summer, the humidity levels fall into the low 30% or even into the teens. So your environment can dictate your humidity levels. But the thing about low humidity levels is they cause a lot of health issues in people and everyone's affected. Some people are just more sensitive than others. So when you start getting below 40% and you start getting into the low 30s, you'll start to see that it really starts to dry out the individual. It starts to dry out their lungs. They might get a dry cough, they might get hoarse, uh, nasal congestion, bloody noses, headaches. They might feel off. If it, if it goes on for a long period of time, that kind of drying in the lungs, people think they're catching a cold or that they, they just feel off. They're not breathing well, their lips are dry. And they'll come in and they'll say, hey, I think I'm ca catching a cold. About 10 to 15% of my clients every year come in with this symptom. And my first response is, hey, where's your humidity levels? Check your humidity levels because I bet they're too low. So not everybody who comes in with symptoms of a cold really has one. Sometimes it's just that the environment's too dry. And today I'm in the desert and the environment's too dry. I've got a sore throat. Um, I have nasal congestion. I've been getting bloody noses and I've had a headache for two days. Bonus. So the first reason why I would really use a humidifier is to keep my humidity levels between 40 and 50 percent. The second reason that I thought a humidifier was a really cool idea was there's been some research that low humidity levels actually allow the flu virus to live for longer periods of time. So 20%, 23% humidity, they found that the they found that 75% of the flu virus was still active after an hour. Whereas if you just bump it up to 43% humidity, they found that over they found only 14% was active after an hour and within 15 minutes almost all the flu virus was inactivated. You know, since that research came out, there's been other research that, you know, is like, oh, they did this wrong, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. Here's my thoughts. Really? I'm just gonna go for safe because, you know, I've seen, I've seen this happen before, you know, with the H. pylori uh, infections in, in the gut. How many years, how many decades did it take for them to accept that antibiotics could get rid of it fairly easily. Um, there are so many things in our medicine which have been completely ignored until it became too far into your face. So for me, okay, some people don't think this flu virus thing is true, some people do. I personally don't care. I'm gonna go for safe than sorry. And then the last part of this is the mold spores. So. Anything over 60% humidity allows mold, mold spores to grow and become active. Below 60% humidity, mold spores become inactive and stop spreading. So if you can keep your house below 60% humidity for over a week, you will completely stop the growth of mold spores. So those are my three reasons for choosing a humidifier. One is to keep ideal humidity level. Two is that it may have, a, it may help me with the flu virus. And the third is I don't need mold. That's all we have in the Pacific Northwest. So those are my three reasons. You might have more, 
But now let's take a look at the air care and see how it works as a humidifier and why I like that one so much. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the air care mini console. This is a medium home evaporative humidifier. So let's see if we can get it out of the box. Hmm, okay, we've got instructions. No one reads those. So hopefully we're not gonna need those, but I'm just gonna tip this guy over and hope that it comes out. And it might. And I always hope that things are made well enough that they can survive a slight bump. So let's hope that works, okay? So here it is. It is packed well. It's got styrofoam around it, so shipping it should be fairly safe during shipping. And then it comes with this huge plastic bag, probably to keep it, probably to keep it nice and clean, which is okay. Um, the only problem, you know, with plastic bags are that they like ending up in the ocean. So let me see if I can make sure to put that in my recycle bin. And let me turn this around so it's facing front. And let me go over a few of the features that I like so much about this air care. So the first feature that really sucked me into this air care was the control panel, which, you know, turn it on and off, but you can also set your humidity levels and you can also set your fan speeds. So your fan speeds, you have three fan speeds and then an auto, which will automatically adjust the fan speed based on the humidity level in the room. It has automatic sensing of the humidity levels. You can set your humidity level that you want and it will automatically sense and keep on running until you reach the optimum humidity level and then turn off. Now the other thing that it does is let's say you run out of water, it will continue to run the fan at a low speed until the unit has dried out and then it will automatically shut off, which means that your unit will not get a lot of mold in it. So first feature that I liked, and this is the only humidifier that I have that can do this, is my ability to set my humidity level and my fan speed. So if I'm in really low humidity, I can pop that fan speed way up and bring it up to the right humidity level faster. Okay, let's look at what I liked, a second feature that I liked about this air care. The second feature that I really liked about this air care was its bottle to fill up the unit. So this bottle holds a, over, a little over a gallon. With the reservoir, you're holding about 2.5 gallons in here. So it can run for 36 hours continuously. But, you know, with the control panel, it will turn itself on and off. So. I've never had mine run 36 hours continuously, but it can. It can release eight gallons of water into the air within a 24 hour period. But let's look at this filler. What I like a lot about this is it has a spring release on it. So you can push the spring in, turn it to open it, fill it up. Then you can close it so you can carry it and no water will, will spill out. You can put it right back in here. It has a plug that will push into the valve, open it up and release the water into the tray. So you basically just have to carry it, put it back in, no spilling and works like a charm. So that's the second feature that I really like about this. Now, the one thing about this air care is it's an evaporative cooler. So what it does is the fan pulls in air and you'll have a wick in here 
the water, the wick sits in the water, gets wet, and the air will be pulled in, travels through it, comes out, and it will evaporate some of the water into the air and release it back into the air. Okay, you're gonna have to do this once a season, and when, when I first had to change the wick, um, I was pretty confused. I didn't realize it was this easy and I had to look it up on YouTube. So this, you have to take the bottle out. This just lifts up. Really, was it that easy? Yeah, it was that easy and um, <laughs> it took me forever. Um, this wick is a tube. It sits right in here. These, these, and the other thing that I like is these, these wicks are only about $22. So replacing them is not gonna cost you a fortune. So that's how you would open up the unit to replace the wick, super easy. Let's put this guy back on. Okay, so those are the key features that I really like about this air care. So now I'm going to fill it up with water and let's see what it sounds like when you plug it in. Okay, so I've already filled up the bottle once and uh, put that in the unit here. And when you first when you first fill up this unit, you're gonna to have to do that twice because the whole unit holds two and a half gallons and this bottle holds 1.2 gallons. Now, you know, you might wanna, you might wonder, can I add in essential oils to this humidifier? According to the directions, you can't, but you can add in this bacterial static treatment which is supposed to help reduce algae and mold. And what's interesting about this is that you can add this in, and if you read the back, this is extremely toxic and corrosive, but, um, and it causes irreversible eye damage and skin burns. So do not get it on the eyes or skin or on clothing. Wear protective eyewear, clothing, and rubber gloves. Wow, so this is super toxic, and let me go see if I have some rubber gloves, okay? Okay, who would have thought? Look at that. I actually do have protective gloves. So I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna use this because I've been kind of curious how it really works in the unit. They say you only need an eighth of a cup, a cap, eighth of a cap full for a gallon. So I'm gonna try and measure out one quarter a cap, right? Because two eighths is one quarter of a cap. I'm gonna do that over the water just in case I blow it. Okay, that looks like about a quarter of a cup there. And I'm gonna pour that into the water. So far I've been doing really well. Haven't needed my protective clothing. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna rinse this out in the sink, so give me a minute. Okay, so we're back. Let's clean, let's close that up. Now, I wanted, this is full, so I wanted to show you this because I really do like this feature with the valve where nothing, nothing spills out. So, now you can't, you can't set it like this because you can see the valve is below the, uh, is, is below the foot on this, but you can carry it around like this and then you can put it right back in here. Look at that, it'll fill it up. And then you get to turn it on. So let me take off my gloves here. Let's turn this unit on. So that's on, super quiet. Now this is at fan level one and the humidity is set for 65%, I believe, when you first get it. You can see here, it tells you what your humidity level is in the house, 27%. No wonder, 
no wonder I have a dry nose, bloody nose, a headache, I feel horrible. 27% is way too low. And if we had the flu going around, it would be having a heyday in my house. So, being that it's this low, I want the humidity to get up much faster than the two days it will take at fan level one. And I don't really know that it'll take two days, but I'm gonna think it's gonna take longer than if I increased, uh, yeah, so you can see it's set for 65%. The fan level's at one. I'm gonna increase it. Oh, there's a, there is auto, where it automatically sets the speed that you want or that it thinks you need. I'm gonna guess this is the highest speed that it has. And let's see if we can change this. So, yep, there's three. That's the highest speed that it has. There's two. So you can hear the difference. Not too loud. And there's one. And it's really quiet at one. Actually, I'm just going to keep mine at auto because it has it at three right now. I need to be at three because I'm so low on humidity. And that is my Air Care Mini Console. What's really great about this unit is this unit is not a super pricey unit. It costs about $100 right now. And you can get them on Amazon, but I actually, I actually have a tendency to order from the company for a variety of reasons. And so I got this one uh, from a, a actual big box store. I got mine from Lowe's. And, but you can get them on Amazon. You can get them from Air Care. You can get them from a variety of places. This is the mini console evaporative cooler. It goes up to about 2,600 square feet. And let me see, I think it's the MA0800 model. So for a cool $100, you get a model that pretty much takes care of your humidity needs. All you have to do is set it and walk away. It'll come on and off by itself and hopefully that will help you keep your house at the ideal humidity and temperature. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.